Hey everybody, Michigan here. Welcome back to the channel and a first in the series again. This time I figured I'm going to set up a playlist for all the battles I record that have a mastery badge or ace tanker so that you can kind of see what sort of performance you might need at the time the video was recorded at least to get a mastery badge in that vehicle if that's kind of your thing. So today I just happened to get one in the VK2801-105 and I'm going to show it to you. So what is the VK-2801-105? Kind of a mouthful there. Well, it's a premium version of the VK-2801. However, this premium one gets the old derp gun that the old tank used to have. It's a 105 millimeter derp gun that has AP, heat, and HE. You can see here, I am running full heat and high explosive. You can see I'm also running full premium consumables and chocolate. And I'm in a tier 6 game, so great matchup. And a lot of times you'll find mastery games be when you're in a lower tier vehicle against higher tiers because obviously there's more XP there. But I'm going to manage to pull it off in a low tier game here and with tier 5. So I've started out with an HE round because I expect there to be lights. Looking for it, I don't quite have the gun depression. I'm going to auto-aim with this. Probably not the best idea to auto-aim, but I decide to anyway and it's going to work out. I think actually it wasn't supposed to hit the... BK, but it did. I was actually really aiming for the Chaffee, but the Chaffee moved out of the way just as I fired, so it ended up hitting the BK, and I get a nice starting roll of 447 and 279 spotting. So I'm in a bit of a tricky situation here if you look around me. We have a Cromwell behind me, and then a Hellcat who's kind of not over there, and a M44. Now the HE round is going to go right into the side of that VK, and I'm going to finish him off, bringing my total damage up to 733 with the second kill of the game, right after the Chinu finishes off the Cromwell B. Now, I'm kind of in a top tier tank, and I have some of the most alpha on either team, with about 350. Obviously, there's a couple of exceptions, you know, the KV-2, but for the most part, I'm going to have a good amount of alpha, and I'm able to take out most of a tank, or a good chunk of it, with one shot. You can see there, as I take, put 215 into the home knee. Actually, that's a terrible roll. Um, I believe that I still had HE loaded, and I still have HE loaded. I'm going to let the Chaffee ram me. I am way heavier in that vehicle, and that's going to give me my second kill, ramming that Chaffee for 367, but only taking 185 in return. Risky situation there against that VK. I'm going to just sling an HE round, and luckily it looks like it's going to clip the side of his turret. That was heat. I'm not sure. It might have been too quick. I'm not sure the shell speed on these. We got 470 and a 376. So yes, if I had put a heat round there, it probably would have missed because the heat rounds are very slow. But now you can see I'm reloading a heat round. Now why is that? I'm just looking at what's left. I see a KV-2, a JP, and there are some lights, but for the most part, they're heavier vehicles. So I want to make sure that I'm at least stealing 350. You know, 350, 410, it's a 60 HP difference, but I'd rather guarantee the 350. I'm going to use the nice speed of this VK with a turbo. I'm getting up to about 75, but that's downhill. On flat ground, I should be going about 70, and there you go, kind of hopping between 68 and 70 degrees there. And I'm up to three kills with that shot on the DK-21. Now we're up on kills and we're up on HP, but it's not a lot. And in tier sixes, games can shift very quickly. Looking for a shot on this SU-8, the aim time takes a long time because it's a derp gun. I'm gonna fire, and looks like it got the back of the vehicle there, and I'm gonna finish off that SU-8 for 300 damage or his full amount of HP. Now, I'm a bit wary with this Matilda BP because he hits for 85 and I've got 113 health. So I really don't want to risk that. Now, I'm thinking about poking there, but I don't really know where he's looking because of the push. So instead, what I'm going to do is just hang out, let this AMX ELC Bisc get involved his full health. Thinking about putting one through the wall there, but since I don't have any AP, that won't actually work out that well. So the ELC has now engaged the Matilda and I'm going to take advantage of that while the Matilda's turret is turned to come behind him and shoot him in the back of the turret with heat. Now, I could have maybe penned with HE, but the Matilda BP is a very heavily armored vehicle. I was just double checking there, right into the flat side of the turret for 375. The ELC finishes him off, and now our team is up 3,705 tanks. Just a couple of tanks left there. I'm not going to bother with the KV-1. I think the Cromwell and the ELC will finish him off long before I can get there. Instead, I'm gonna go for the unspotted vehicle in that 60 GFT, tier 5 Chinese vehicle, 
as well as the unspotted Jagdpanzer IV. So I'm going to head through the low waters there. Now I know that Jagdpanzer is still over there because the VK-28-01-105, my teammate over there, is getting shredded by whatever that is. And I think he's going to be a little bit upset about that in chat since those vehicles aren't getting lit. There you go, full camper. So we're going to work up this bush line and see what we can do. Now I'm being very careful here. If you know, I'm zooming in and making sure I'm not running over any of these trees because these are tall trees. And if they're looking this way, they're going to know I'm here and possibly my blind fire this bush line. But in a second, I think I'm going to just abandon that idea. It's going to go for it. Now I've knocked that tree down, so if my cover's blown, it's blown. So I'm just going to push around the outside and see what spots I can get. Now the VK doesn't have bad gut depression, so I should be able to work this bridge a little bit. Looking for it, looking for it. Where are they? The, the, this Jagdpanzer was last spotted almost within inside of my range. I'm going to let the ELC do some spotting. There's the Jagdpanzer 4. I'm going to put one in a little bit of a low roll there for 344, but still a great hit. Let's see what's left. The Jagdpanzer 4 is going to get finished off. Zooming in on the VK, I'm going to miss the 60 GFT. Bad use of auto aim. Terrible decision by me. Luckily, this tank is a quick reload, and I'm going to finish off that 60 GFT for my fifth kill and 2,771 damage with 706 assist for the win. Let's check out the post game. So there is the mastery badge, ace tanker. We got fighter for destroying four or five vehicles. Obviously a fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of our vehicle. And we got a high caliber there. There was a lot of light vehicles in the enemy team. So it meant the total HP on the enemy team was quite low. So we were able to put out a high caliber there with only 2,700 damage. Finishing top of our team on XP, the only one within the 2,000 damage mark and actually approaching 3,000. We got 5 kills, 1,242 XP. The enemy team didn't do so well there. They had a bunch of tanks with zero, obviously a lower tier game there. We fired 11 shots. We hit 6 and 9 penned. I'm not sure what... The misses were, you know why? Because those were splash damage shots. Obviously, the low roll against the 60 on top of that hill, as well as the Chaffee and the VK-20-1. I think we grazed this out of his turret with high explosive. But out of the nine shots that we did hit, we caused damage on all of them. Now, obviously, we're going to miss a few because the shell speed is quite low, and it's a very fairly difficult vehicle to aim. You can't lead tanks. You really got to be shooting at stationary targets. So we didn't get any blind damage there, still 2,771. We got just one shot from 300 meters. Again, this is not a long-range sniper, not in the slightest. This isn't a tank review, but I'll tell you, it's an inaccurate vehicle. It's a premium tank, so we got a decent amount of credits there. We got some battle payments, and we got some personal mission pass. And we fired a decent amount of premium, but we did fire a bunch of HE, and we're going to lose about 21,000 there, but still coming out with 85 thousand credits for this game so i hope you enjoyed it pretty short one here but it should give you an idea of what you have to do to complete a mastery badge ace tanker game in the vk 2801 105 thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one see ya